At ease, soldier. You done your job. <laughs> oh, hi everybody. This is Black Rhino Ranger. Uh, just back from my three and a half week vacation from England. I wasn't able to draw anything, but I'm able to draw again. This is the first drawing I did since my comeback, and I am aware that legendary drill instructor slash actor R. Lee Ermey passed away recently. You may know him as either the Sergeant Hartman from Full Metal Jacket. You know the one who goes, I am Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. From now on, you'll only speak when spoken to. And the first and last words out of your filthy servers will be, Sir, the maggots understand that. Something like that. Um, he's also the the green sar the sarge of the green toy soldiers from Toy Story. He's also had other voice roles. I mean, he was Wawa, the water element of Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex, and um, he also played some other random instructor drill sergeants or wardens, like in Billy and Mandy with the dwarf episode with the mushrooms and cookies. <laughs> he plays. He plays the part where this drill instructor comes in and censors the entire fight scene <laughs> with a koala. Um, and uh, um, he was also in SpongeBob in the Inmates of Summer, where he plays the prison warden who gives them these difficult tasks. That's actually one of my favorites from him. Anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the fact that I had this weird idea for a video game. I'm, I'm, I am aware of the fact that Spyro is having a remastered trilogy. It's called the Reignited Trilogy. Um, it's made by the same people who... It's made by Toys Baba, the same people who created Skylanders. And I thought to myself, eh, if Crush Bandicoot can have a remastered trilogy and Crush... I thought to myself, maybe one of the Skylanders should get his own game one day. Yeah, so I thought... so. Over a year ago, I thought of this a series called the Tr I thought of the series called the Trigger Happy Gremlin series as a trilogy. And Trigger Happy, this is where the main focus is on my favorites of the Skylanders, Trigger Happy. And here he is in the old west with the guns and the thing. So, okay, so here's the description. So I had this idea involving Trigger Happy's. During, during his days before he became a Skylander. According to his biography, no one knew where he came from, but the legend has it that he came from a, a poor town who keeps getting rods by mysterious and swift bandits. No one knows who they are and what they look like, but it's up to Trigger Happy to track them and find their hideout and steal back the riches from the poor. <laughs> right now, you can tell that this was like sort of a mix, that the story I thought of is sort of a mix of Trigger Happy and, uh, I mean, Alibaba and the Forty Thieves and Robin Hood. Um, the game is in um, third person mode, which is um, a third person shooter, which is a mixture of platform similar to. Ra it's it's kind of like a third person shooter mixed with platform similar to Ratchet and Clank. Trigger Happy has his trusty gold guns as usual, like he did in Skylanders, but can switch to new guns or upgrade them. Like old gun games, they have limited amount of ammo, except his default guns. They have infinity bullets, which remember, he's no puncher, he's a shooter. There are a total of 10 gems, gems to collect, and a total of 10 bandits to find, capture, and bring them to the prison. I know it sounds like trap team much, but you don't play as the bad guys. And there are 10 different types of weapons different types of horses for you to ride on. Some with boosters, some with their own range weapons, some with a different species, like either faster or, like they're either faster or stronger, etc. Yeah. Now, so that's the first game. The second game is a little bit more wild. This is when Trigger Happy gets to ride on not just horses, but other wild animals. It's called the Trigger Happy Gremlin 2, the really wild, wild west. Yes. So in this game, okay, Trigger Happy has wrapped up the bandit. It's but now instead of his whole town needing him, the wildlife of the world needs him. 
The wild life of the world needs him. Too happy has has heard about poachers who want to sell body parts of various animals, tusks of an elephant, horns of a rhino, skin of a tiger, etc., to the black market and become the richest beings. Trigger Happy must find the poachers before they can find the animals. Trigger Happy now travels all over the world to stop a gang of poachers from hunting animals. Instead of, 20 horse, instead of 20 horses like in the previous game, he can now ride over 100 animals and they don't have to be horses. They can be like pictured here or rhinoceros, hippos, crocodiles, or any other animal he encounters and be friends. Some have to be bought in order to unlock, but others need to be found either in secret levels and passages or in the main road. There are 10 categories of animals. Charger, which is like a rhino, bull, and elephant. Sprinter, which is lion, horse, and ostrich. Swimmer, hippo, crocodile, land versions of fish. Crawler, ant, spider, and cockroach. Slitterer, anaconda, cobra, eel, centipede, flyers, eagle, dragonfly, bat, digger, anteater, fox, badger, leapers, kangaroos, rabbits, grasshoppers, rollers like an armadillo, turtle, and pill bug, or... And swingers, which are monkeys, slots, and orangutans. Sorry, a bit of a bad back. Um, something is from my airplane. Not very comfortable, those seats. There are 10 different types of levels. The insect world, the jungle, savanna, desert, ocean, mountain, tundra, wetlands, woodland, and the zoo. Each of these levels has a bonus level, which can only be accessed if Trigger Happy is running on a specific animal. Oh. The bonus levels will allow you different weapons, armor, and stats for Trig and the animals. And also, after you level up the animal, you get to you get a brand new weapon for Trigger Happy made in the style of an animal, like a Rhino Rocket Launcher or a Venom Sprayer. Like the previous games, you there are a total of 10 villains you need to capture and put to jail, and each of them have are hunting down an animal you need to protect. Once you defeat the villain, an animal will give you a boost for all your animals by its specific type and give you a very strong but very low ammo weapon. For example, the golden rhino and platinum elephant give you a boost for all your charge animals and a stronger version of a rhino, rhino rocket launcher and a tusk taser. Now I know I am borrowing elements from my, one of my previous ideas called Skylanders Wild Riders, but some people say the idea is too similar to Skylanders Swap Force. And I thought about giving this idea to another video game and make it make it for those who are kind of sick of the whole Toys for Bob genre. Be glad Vicarious Visions isn't doing the insane trilogy, isn't doing that for the ends. A good thing they didn't make any Vicarious Visions didn't make any playable figure things for the end scene trilogy of Trash Bandicoot. Nor do they do so nor did Toys for Bob decide to do so for the Spyro Remastered trilogy. Or they have no more room for the shells from our Skylanders. Pretty wild, ain't it? And here's the third and final of these ideas. The Trigger Happy Gremlin 3, The Good, The Bad, and The Wardrobe. Can you guess where the where I got the name of the title from? It's from two movies. So here, here's a picture of, of Trigger of the of Pox Art. They see Trigger Happy as a knight and there's a dragon. Does he look familiar? Is Trigger Happy as a spaceman and there's an alien? Is Trigger Happy in the Old West with a regular horse? There's a, there here he is with a buck tooth thingy and an anteater thing and there's a triceratops. Must be prehistoric, ain't it? So in the story, Trigger Happy follows another band of bandits into a castle. They go into a wardrobe and when Trigger Happy opens the wardrobe, they're gone. Feeling like he's got, got nothing better to do, he decides to wear one of the outfits. However, as soon as he puts on the knight clothes, he gets teleported to another dimension where knights and dragons roam. He takes it off and ends up in back in the castle. Later, he wears a leopard light loincloth and ends up in the real realm of prehistory, which hardly has both dinosaurs like the T-Rex, woolly mammoths, cavemen, and life before dinosaurs like the Dimetrodon, the Arthropleura, etc. They're all living together. When he puts on the space suit, he ends up in space on an alien planet. And a few more suit and there are also a few more suits and dimensions for Trick to wear and explore. With his new costume ability, he can locate the bandits in his dimension and capture them before all dimensions get wiped out in a paradox. 
Admittingly, I've taken this concept from Crash Bandicoot Warped, Lego Batman, and Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. The costumes give off a unique ability for Trick to enter new levels and secret places. The Knight allows you to do close combat with your sword and increase your armor. You're also given the right to enter castles as common folks aren't allowed in them. Even as a ca even as a cowboy, the key um you even as you're even as a cowboy, you're not allowed to enter the castles. The caveman suit gives you bigger strength, and you need to take out the caveman enemies who are stronger than your than your normal counterpart. It also allows you to lift rocks and summon little compies or consignacuses. Or yeah, I need to come up with a different name as compies a Jurassic Park name. Anyways, the spacesuit allows you to jump higher and jetpack yourself full. Faster than running, and and those are just the examples of clothing and dimensions. As for the rideable animals, the dimension periods contain their own animals. The fantasy dimension has dragons, unicorns, and griffins. Prehistoric has a triceratops, saber-toothed tiger, arthropleura, and a space dimension allows you to ride on aliens and robots. The other dimensions have their own animals, giving a total of over 200 animals to ride on. Even the previous animals either return as either downloadable content or through the previous game saves. Instead of 10 new bosses, we get 20, and some of them are more difficult to fight against than the former. Once you complete story mode, all the costumes you unlock can be played in any level, and the same goes with the writable animals. And those are my ideas so for Trigger Happy if they ever got their own game series, just like Crash Bandicoot and Spiral the Dragon. Let me know in the comments what you think. Anything else you like? Any improvements needed? I'm all ears and eyes and brains. I hope you've enjoyed this video.